Hey, hello everyone. Welcome to my channel, SAP SD and ABAP Lake Support. So today we will see in how many ways an IDAC can be triggered. I mean specifically the outbound IDAC. So outbound attack can be triggered in several ways like uh, with the help of a report or by using a function model, with help of that message control, there is nothing but output types, output types and fourth one with help of change pointer technique. So remember this, this is the four ways, report, function model, output types, then change pattern technique. This is to trigger an IDAC, that's an outbound IDAC. Coming to inbound IDAC triggering. So inbound IDAC triggering can be done only with one option that is function model only. Right? The basic standard function model provided by SAP is that BAPI underscore idoc underscore input one let me show you that yeah this is the idoc so we need to use this idoc or we need to create a new i uh, sorry we need to use this function model or we need to develop new function model by copying this one right we can't develop any new one we should always develop it by referring to the existing function model only so this is one of the input incoming IDAC FM so we can use this one so inbound IDAC can be processed only through function model only coming to outbound it can be processed through any of these four techniques it's a short video hope this will be very helpful to you and it's one of the interview question as well please note it down thanks everyone we will meet in the next video